Make your plans now for the 35th annual Urban League Breakfast. It's, um, it's actually a whole lot more than a breakfast, and we're going to find out more about that from one of the guys who's been a key player in the Urban League for ages. Warren Logan, good morning. Good morning, Chip. How long have you been involved with the Urban League here? I've been involved for about 20 years. How long have you been holding an office in that? Uh, well, it's been 20 years. 20 years. 20 years. And going strong. Uh, I want to toot your horn for just a moment. How has the Urban League grown since you first got involved with this? Well, I think we started out serving about maybe 150 people a year, and now we're serving about 14,000 people a year. And you not only just serve individuals, you also help businesses. What you're doing for the community is just absolutely incredible. For that, you are to be committed. Uh, 35th annual breakfast coming up, and this mm -hmm. is called the Annual Equal Opportunity Day Breakfast. Give me a few more details on this. Well, um, um, this this year, uh, we have a phenomenal speaker, but one of the things, of course, that we're celebrating is um, um, our ability to uh, work with the community from the standpoint of we're celebrating our volunteerism, but at the same time, we are looking at uh, economic inequality uh, mm -hmm. in the community, and this is, uh, we brought in a speaker that we know is going to really do justice to this particular top topic. His name is John Hope um, uh, Bryant, um, and John Hope Bryant uh, has been in this business from, since 1992. He started an uh, uh, organization called Operation Hope, mm -hmm. as such. And uh, he's been an advisor to three sitting presidents, and he's been recognized by five presidents, as wow. such. So the last uh, three sitting presidents that he's been recognized by has been George W. Bush, uh, Bill Clinton, and President Obama. And each of the last uh, three presidents that he's been recognized by, um, he served them in the terms of a financial advisor from the standpoint of financial services and such. So uh, he has been a, a phenomenal person in this particular business and um, to the extent that uh, he's been able to go out and really teach people, per particularly those who, uh, who represent those who uh, don't necessarily have the financial wherewithal how to be a participant sure. uh, in the economic system of America. And a lot of times, even <laughs> if you do have the financial wherewithal, sometimes you don't know the right people to go to to simply get the job done. Absolutely, and, and really that's what his business is. You know, he's going around basically teaching people how to be a participant in the economic system of America. Uh, <laughs> the breakfast, again, this will be the 35th annual one, <laughs> so you don't want to miss it. Um, how many people are you expecting for this? Uh, we're idea? speaking, well, we're, we're expecting over 800 people. Wow. Uh, uh, at the trade center, so it's, it's 7.30 in the morning. Is it too late to buy tables or individual not, tickets? Uh, no, you can uh, buy tables. You can uh, uh, call us at 756-1762, or you can go on our website at uh, ulchat.net, and uh, you can call us and go on the website. You can buy tables. You can buy tickets. We still have those available, but we do urge people to really uh, get, yeah. get ahead of the game because they, we believe they're going to go quickly like they normally do. Like most events like this, there's always a huge ramp up in ticket sales towards the tail end of the event. Don't get left out in the cold. And uh, it's the 35th annual, again, uh, Equal Opportunity Day Breakfast. Want to get you to come back a little bit closer to the time of the event and share a few more details about your great work with the Urban League uh, on our morning show. So you have to get up a little bit earlier, but I know we can count on you. Well, you know, it doesn't matter. The earlier, the better. So I'm up at 4 a.m. So right. if, you, if you open up at 4 a.m., I can be here. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be in touch with you. Warren Logan, thank you so thank much you for your so much, continued Jim, involvement in making our community a much better better place to live, work, and raise families. Again, here's the information on the breakfast. It'll be at the Chattanooga Convention Center Wednesday the 18th starting at 7.30. ULchat.net gets you more information. ULchat with two T's dot net. You're watching Let's Chat and we are back with more right after this.